plan is to go to Big Basin. Big Basin is probably two hours, if that, from here. Might be too short of a day for me. So, one of the thoughts I had was go to Big Basin just to check it out. And if there's plenty of time left in the day, just hop back over to Highway 1 on the ocean and take it up to Half Moon Bay. Depending on how the day goes, I might end up at home tonight. It's 9.40 a.m. and I'm just leaving. And I was ready to go like an hour and a half ago. And this really nice couple just starts talking to me and... Uh, whoa! Well, the wife took her dog into the bathroom and apparently some uh, German woman or a woman with a German sounding accent was like Oh, that's disgusting, having an animal in the bathroom. Some people just hate dogs. Sad. How could you hate dogs? It started raining. Not really bad. It's still really warm. It's 51 degrees. What happened to winter? I mean, how cool is that? smart enough not to go down there. Impassable in wet weather. I reject that. I'm gonna follow this road down and see where it takes me. I think, I think I got some good pictures. Someone, uh, someone's got a nice fire going on there smell it. The whole area smells like campfire and but not in a suffocating way, just a light smell of campfire mixed with fresh coastal wind. Ready to go on a few more miles up, see what we find. I just got to the town of Carmel, right south of Monterey, and look what I found. Bum bum bum, Starbucks! This guy needs some coffee. This is not an endorsement of Starbucks. They just happen to be everywhere. If there's one thing you're always guaranteed to see in Monterey, Carmel, it's a Ferrari. If you ever get a chance and you like cars, come down to Monterey Car Week. It's in August. It's every August. And you'll see more exotic cars than you could ever imagine. They come from all over the country. Now uh, that's eight months away, but I'll definitely do a video when that comes up. So I'm in Santa Cruz at a Seacliff State Beach. I'll let Huxley uh, run around and then I'll head up to Big Basin. I was on Highway 1, and now I'm turning off to Highway 17. Um, that'll take me up to Big Basin. There's a place called La Honda near here. Ken Kesey had a compound there, and that's where the Merry Pranksters had their bus and started out from. And uh, a really great book that describes the whole adventure is uh, Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test. 
which was actually written by Tom Wolfe, who I think was like 17 years old, maybe 18 or 19 at the time. Incredible book about their journey. So this is where I would have camped tonight. It's pretty cool, and actually, I didn't realize it. I thought this was tent camp camping, but there are cabins. These are coastal redwoods, so they're not quite as big as if you go out to Yosemite, but they're still pretty big. I'm on Skyline Boulevard, uh, just north of Big Basin, and um, there's an amazing 32-mile hike called Skyline to the Sea. Uh, you can do it in three days leisurely, or you can do it in two days. Uh, I've done it twice, once two days, once three days. Um, just a beautiful hike, and since the elevation, I mean, it is the Santa Cruz Mountains, but since the elevation is generally headed downwards, it's not too hard of a hike. So I definitely recommend it to anyone. This is all the peninsula. And I'm guessing the, it's the bay way back there, but it's hard to see. I'm glad I stopped here because I've talked to some really interesting people. Two cool things I found out, and one slightly disappointing thing. Apparently Neil Young lives here. That I didn't know. The second thing I learned is that Coco the gorilla um, lives just down the street. Now, I don't think that's something I'm going to be able to see, but it's pretty cool. And according to them, Coco is Harambe's uh, cousin. I don't know if I buy that. I'll have to look it up. But it is pretty cool that, that Coco is over here. The one slightly disappointing thing, it's not such a big deal, is I was kind of hoping to see the DC Ken Kesey's compound, but I guess it's not really a historic thing they care about out here. We should be meeting up with Highway 1 here at the stop sign. Volkswagen. This guy in front of me slow. Oh, he pulled over for me. What a nice person. Okay, thank you. Alright, so Half Moon Bay 11 miles, San Francisco 40 miles. Say goodbye, Huxley. Huxley, come here. Say goodbye to the nice people. Huxley's had a long day. It's probably the most driving we did of any of the days. If you enjoyed watching this video, if you want me to make more, please hit that like button. Please hit subscribe. I can't tell you how much I'd appreciate it because doing that allows more people on YouTube to see it. I'm going to try to put out a full overlanding video every three months or so. About to be January, so I'm snowboarding most weekends. If we get a nice snowstorm that I have to drive through, I will definitely film that. Because I can't tell you how great the Jeep does uh, in snowstorms. And uh, with that, thanks for watching.